Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how you can do your keepy uppies, starting from the basic level right the way up to a little bit more advanced and then it's down to you to keep practicing and taking it as far as you can. So the first part to start in keepy uppies is just a simple one. Take the ball, hold it in your hands and just drop it on the floor and give it a little kick up. Drop it on the floor and a little kick up. And so it's important when you're doing keepy uppies, if you want to kick the ball up in the air, you have to kick the ball at the bottom of the ball. So you have to get your foot underneath it. But it's simple, drop, kick, catch. The next stage would be to try and add in bounces and add in kicks. Maybe try and reach 10 if you can. So bounce, kick, bounce, kick, bounce, kick. Take it up to say 10 before you move on to the next stage. So the next stage is just to try and take the bounces out. So when you drop the ball, bounce, kick, kick, catch. So notice I didn't let the ball bounce between the two kicks. Try and do that as many times as you can. Try and raise the number of kicks that you do. But remember, don't kick the ball too hard. You don't want the ball going higher than your head really. You don't really want it to go higher than your chest. You want to keep it nice and low so the ball is under control. So it's only soft little, soft little kicks. So we go bounce, kick, 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 catch. See how many you can do. You take it up to the next level. The next level, once you've got loads of kicks before it touches the floor, you want to start with the ball from the floor. So you can do different ways of kicking it up as we've seen in one of the challenges. You can flick it up and start like that. But there's loads and loads of different ways. So that's the next stage. Use both feet if you can. Practice with both feet all the time, but nice little soft touches, kicking the ball below, right underneath, so it sends it up in the sky. Now, keep your uppies aren't just about using your feet. You can also use other parts of your body. So knees are a great way to help you control the ball during a game and in keep your uppies. They've got a nice soft padded bit right on your thigh. Try and avoid the knee, but use a soft padded part of your thigh where you can get lots of control. So for this one, all we do, we start with the ball in our hands again. Little knee, catch. Knee, catch. When you've done one, and you've got used to that, try and do two. Try and do three. Keeping the ball nice and close to you. If you use the soft part of your thigh, you can keep the ball really close to you. Then, can you use both knees? Keeping that ball nice and close to you. So next, is trying to introduce your knee into your keepy uppies. So practice with the ball on the floor again, flicking up, keep your ups, use both feet, both knees. So the next stage is about freestyling. You can use your knees, you can use your feet, you can use different parts of your body. Try things out. You can't use your hands because that's not allowed in a game. There's nothing wrong with using your shoulder. Use your head if you're careful. Use your knee, use your feet, use the outside of your feet. Use different parts of your body, apart from your hands, and try things out. 